Okay, so look, it's taken me about four hours to figure this video out and clear my space because my phone is out of storage and all the stuff. So you're just gonna have to bear with me. Did you get ready in the dark or something? Because you look like a beautiful nightmare. Howdy everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer break. I definitely am. As you saw from the title of the video, this is another college video. I am going to be doing college dorm essentials now. I did a poll on my Instagram right here asking you guys which type of video you would like and you guys decided on the college dorm essentials. And let's just get started. I am doing everything in categories. The first category is priority. This is the things that I think that everybody definitely needs in their dorm. So the first thing, obviously, is shower shoes. Now, I personally didn't use shower shoes because at my school, we had our own bathrooms and we were able to clean them ourselves. Shoes, if you're going to a bigger university like NC State or any other university, shower shoes are a must. Either get sandals or flip-flops or even Crocs. Make sure whatever you use, it has holes and it's like plastic or rubber so it doesn't get nasty. Second thing is a shower caddy. I suggest fabric because it's just a lot better. You just hang it onto your shower or outside of your shower a robe or a velcro towel i don't know how to describe it a towel that has velcro i highly suggest one of these if you have communal bathrooms if you don't you don't need it i didn't need one but if you're gonna have a communal bathroom and especially if your hallway is co-ed i highly suggest you get one of those two things the next thing is power strips you're gonna need at least one you're gonna need power strips. A lot of the times there's maybe two outlets in your dorm on your side of the dorm, if even that. A tiny held, Bruh. a tiny handheld vacuum is highly needed, okay? I've heard people use dustpans and brooms and a lot of the times they don't want to do that. It's really super easy if you just get a vacuum, you can vacuum it up. I have one that has a detachable handheld vacuum but it also has a little, like, like a regular vacuum. Let me, sh I'll show you a picture. I have one of those I got from Target. I think it was 80 bucks or 60 bucks. It was pretty cheap, but if you don't want to do that, it's not necessary. You can just get a handheld mini one. Um, that would be perfectly fine. A mini fridge or a microwave. So for me, for me at my school, I cannot have a microwave in my room because we have, we have like common areas in our hallways that have microwaves and fridges. So I didn't even need to get a fridge, but I still got one anyway, me and my roommate. So I highly suggest getting a fridge if your school does not provide you one. I know NC State does, but you just have to see what your school gives you, what they suggest, what they don't suggest. You got to look at that first because a lot of the times you're not going to want to eat what the dining hall is giving you. And even if you do, sometimes you're going to go out with people because that's just what you're going to do. If you're going to meet new people, all you really can do is eat, right? So you're going to go eat food and you might want to bring leftovers back because why won't you? You're already spending that much money on it. What if you don't have a fridge? Exactly. You're in a dilemma, so I would just buy one. Even if you need a split hat with your roommate, um, you need a trash can. I highly suggest getting a medium-sized one, not a small one. A small one's too small, a medium is just right. Get one where you can take the trash out every day if you really needed to. The next thing I suggest, something that makes your room homey. Even if you just hang some pictures on your cork board or like next to your mirror or something, I think that's very important and that will really help your mental health at college as well. Some type of emergency, emergency? <laughs> Some type of emergency shoes. What I mean by this, I suggest a sandal or croc or something that has no toe hole because the amount of times I had to run an errand really fast, like go out to the printer or do my laundry and like I have socks on. Also, I had to take my friend Andrea to the hospital really quick. When I tell you I had to sprint out of my dorm, and I'm so glad that I had those emergency shoes. You're gonna want them, trust me. You just want a pair of shoes that you can keep by your door or by your bed that you can easily access so that you can just go do whatever you need to do. The next thing is either a card holder. I don't use one of these because personally, if I lose my phone, I'm also losing my, my cards and my ID from the school. So I don't do that personally. But I did all of freshman year. I had this little ring. I'll put a picture right here. I had this ring and I bought it off Amazon. It was maybe 10 bucks. And I put everything that I need except for my phone on. So I put my keys, I put my AirPods, I put my wallet on there so I can put my ID card and my credit cards and stuff in there. I highly suggest that other than the card holder because it's gonna look a little risky if you lose your phone. 
The next category I'm doing is comfort. Um, the first thing is a mattress topper or mattress pad. You can get them anywhere. I got mine at Target. Literally any of the stuff you can get at Target. I'm gonna link everything down below. Next thing is a coffee machine. I didn't have one. My sweet mate for semester did have one. So me and my roommate at the time, we bought our own K-cups and then we just went to use her coffee machine using our own K-cups. So just coordinate with them as long as you buy. I'll just buy your own K-cups and you can go borrow their machine and they probably wouldn't mind. Okay, a throw blanket. A lot of the times your dorm's gonna get really cold. So when you're studying or doing homework, then you can have a blanket to wrap around. Um, the next thing is some assortment of comfy clothes. Now, when I say comfy clothes, I mean like sweatpants, leggings, a basic t-shirt. You're probably thinking, duh, that's literally all people wear in college, but you would be surprised the amount of videos I have watched where YouTubers are like, I brought all these fancy things thinking that I was gonna wear all of this cute stuff to school. Um, next thing is a fan or a fan clip. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and everybody highly suggests a clip on fans, so a bedside table. I didn't use one because my, my dorm bed wasn't like a typical dorm bed. It was just on the floor and it didn't rise. It just screws on. You don't need to assemble anything. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube talk about these and say that they're like lifesavers. The next thing is a toothbrush case. I've watched multiple YouTube videos and they were saying that toothbrush case is very, very important because when you're having communal bathrooms, you're gonna need to have that toothbrush in a case because you're gonna throw it around in your cabinet bag and it's just gonna be really gross at the end and you do not want that touching anything that's really gross next thing is an air freshener i use febreze and and made my room smell good really fast so okay while editing this i realized that i missed a very important and essential thing that you need to buy for your dorm trust me on this one you need to buy a poopery like i know it's kind of embarrassing but trust me when i tell you you're gonna want it it's gonna be a lifesaver no like you need poopery a rug. I needed a rug so bad for a room that I took one of the rugs from my house and it didn't really match my room, but I just, I needed it because it gets nasty. The floor, it gets really gross and you don't want to keep having to wear socks and shoes in your dorm. So I highly suggest a rug. The next thing is a shoe hanger and or a rack, but you need somewhere to put your shoes because it's just going to get all messy in your dorm if you don't have a place for them. The next category is style detail. First thing, I bought a twin extra large comforter and I knew that wasn't right. Even when I bought it, I was like, no, it's not gonna go over my bed. It's not gonna drape. I highly suggest getting a full sized comforter so you can get that look that you see everywhere or the comforter covers the things under your bed or queen size, bigger is better at this point. Also, curtains are a big thing. I had curtains my first semester of college and it made the room look really roomy. The second semester, I didn't have curtains at all and I wanted to put some up. I didn't really feel that homey. The next category is things I personally wish I had brought to college with me. I had saw this girl's video and she had mentioned that she had wished she brought a file sorter. I was like, that's literally genius because I had my papers just sitting on my shelf for like a good three weeks. It just made my room look really cluttered. I am definitely gonna get one for this coming year. The next thing I wish I had was a little vanity mirror that you can set on your table. The one that flips, I'll show you here. I know Wild Sage sells one and it has a little tray at the bottom where you can put all your jewelry and saves so much of your desk space. The next thing that I wish I had was poster putty. I had a bunch of command hooks, which that's obvious. You're gonna need command hooks if you wanna hang anything up in your dorm room, but poster putty, it's really easy to take off. It's sticky enough to stick onto the wall. You can easily remove it. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that was very informational, educational, and helpful. I hope that if you are going to be a freshman in college, that this helps you be less overwhelmed because it's very overwhelming. I have three weeks till I go for my second year and I am stressed to say the least. Alrighty, yep. Adios amigos. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad